Being a gigantic fan of grenades, I've always in reality had a grenade build. I could switch to Unzane if I ever wanted to just have a little fun and spam those bad boys out. Since Mayhem 4 hit, Zane grenade builds become a little more scarce. I've been building and testing for ages though trying to create a Zane grenade build which can compete with the generic Zane build we see optimising the scene dead and making places like the Maliwan Raid and the Slaughter Shaft a walk in the park. Today I bring you this very build people. How's it going guys my name's DPJ and today I bring you another BR3 video. If you do enjoy it leaving a like it really helps out and subscribe if you want to see more. So this build I've been playing around with for absolutely ages, switching this up, switching that up, making adjustments here and there just to try and make it a viable build for places like the Maliban Raid and the Slaughter Shaft. As because at the end of the day, if you can currently survive and conquer such places with any build, you have a decent build on your hands, it's as simple as that. Now over the past month or so, I've made many changes to this grenade build, and this was mainly due to the fact of basically thinking I've perfected it and then just going into the Maliwan Raid or the Slaughter Shaft and getting absolutely melted. As I mean creating a Zane build in which you can spam unlimited grenades is the easy part, but finding items and building up around them to survive the countless enemies popping off at you while you fire back with grenades and any decent weapon and at the same time progressing through said enemies was the goal I wanted and it isn't as easy as you would think. I also wanted to create this build with a purpose in mind which didn't limit people. That purpose was that this build can be used with a multitude of grenades, not just a select few. This build also isn't built around any one particular element type either. You can add your own touch there, you can also add your own touch with any particular artifact. As long as said artifact does have a couple of skills needed which I'll mention in a second. So this build, let's get into it people. Firstly the shield. Here we have the stopgap. A moment here isn't used, but you finding one which would help this build out would be better, obviously. On your stopgap, you want to have the prefix of health charge. Anything else here is a bonus. Now, I tested many, many shields with this build, and I can straight up state this was the best within that slot shaft and Meloman raid. Another shield I wanted to try with this build was the recall, but this isn't anywhere near as effective in keeping you on your feet as the stopgap. I tried many, countless other shields people, I tried countless other shields, but nothing was doing the job like the stopgap does. So this is a must people I will tell you. The stopgap prefix comes in so handy also as the 5 seconds is quite a time, as you can within this time regen your shield or start regen your shield, or reload the weapon you are using and fire it and regen that health using the skill tree perks we have selected here. So the stopgap is super efficient in more than just one area. And like I said, over the weeks, probably even months of me testing this since Mayhem 4 dropped, I can assure you that the stopgap is the best I used. Class mod here is obviously the scene dead. All scene deads do the job for sure, but obviously with a grenade build, you want those skills that help you out. Plus five grenades is a great option. And obviously extra grenade damage wouldn't go and miss either. You can also get grenade radius, having all three on the same scene dead would be absolutely amazing, the best option out there in my opinion. But any one of these grenade skills on a scene dead would be great, so don't stress trying to search for a particular one. Now the artifact here, like I said, is where you can in reality use one of your choice. For me personally, I'd choose the snowdrift, but I ain't lucky enough to have it with said skills on them, as these are a must. While the one you want in reality is elemental resistance, this is the one that must be on your artifact. Anything else again here is a bonus, as long as that elemental resistance is there, the artifact and the other two skills can be anything you desire or feel would add to said grenade build and your take on it. I mean yes I could name you a multitude of artifacts which would add to this build, which would take away from this build, but at the end of the day I want this to be customizable for you, and that's the way I've created it. Grenade here, like I said, is entirely up to you. There are many great grenades in this game and it's for this reason I didn't want to limit this build to any particular one. I know there are people out there that use the Firestorm, I know there are people out there that use the Surge, I know there are people out there that like to use the Hex, I know there are people out there that like to use Epic Variants. I mean this game is full of grenades, so I didn't want to limit this build to any particular one, or a set few. What you can do though is look for skills on the artifact like a certain elemental damage and pair that with the grenade you choose. That's up to you, that's the kind of customization I'm leaving open for you guys on this build. The anointment on said grenade though, I would say look out for the one you can see on screen now on grenade throne. Weapon, grenade and action skill damage are increased by 25% for 6 seconds. This within this grenade build would be a constant flow of additional damage people. So I'd probably say go for this one or aim to get this one. 
So let's get onto the build and start with a skill tree in which we use its action skill and that is the barrier. 5 points straight into ready for action giving us basically 30% additional bonuses on shield recharging which is important. We then have 2 points into rise to the occasion and 3 points into stiff upper lip. These 3 perks are mainly for defensive purposes obviously but all play a giant role in keeping you on your feet for sure. We then have confident competence selected, again barrier is what we use with the arguments of nanites or some shite which again helps defensive wise as well as all rounds selected so you're protected from all sides. Next up we have the sentinel skill tree, 5 points into violent speed and 4 points into violent momentum. Speed equals damage folks. Then 5 points into salvation, life duel is super important here. We then have death follows close selected with them 5 points into violent violence and 2 points into good misfortune. Besides salvation within this skill tree, all these perks selected are intended to help you lay down that damage while throwing grenades at the same time. So onto a digiclon, 5 points into synchronicity, 3 points into prey and a further 5 points into Donnybrook. Donnybrook and Sync are an amazing pairing here for extra damage. We then have 2 points into duct tape mod, this obviously means you sometimes shoot grenades. Grenade shot though also applies said grenades anointment effect, keep that in mind. And finally guys 3 points into pocket full of grenades. This means that you'll get those grenades back as quickly as you throw them as long as you are hitting enemies. This is thanks to that scene dead mod obviously. Now we'll state this entire build I created so you could survive within the slaughter shaft and the Marowan raid. In my opinion the two hardest places to play in this game right now are Mayhem 4. And if you can survive these places you can survive any place. So that was my point behind this. I mean yes this build could be way more powerful skill tree wise and even artifact shield and so forth. But that isn't the point of this build. The point of this build is a grenade build, a grenade spamming build for Zayn, which allows you to play places like the Slot Shaft and the Malawan Raid and be efficient in doing so. And let's put it like this, if you took the Chain Zayn build or the Winter Soldier build, two of are arguably the best builds in this game, take off an action skill and apply a grenade mod to it, you will get absolutely mounted within the Slot Shaft and the Malawan Raid. Those builds are set up specifically to lay down that damage. With this build yes you can lay down amazing damage but obviously in order to use grenades which is the point of this build you have to take an action skill off you can't use two action skills. So I've built this up with defense in mind obviously using the barrier but also keeping in mind damage output is also very important and this in my opinion is the best of both worlds a great backup build for you when you want to spam those grenades. Now the weapons here are entirely up to you, obviously the more powerful the weapons are such as the love, the sequel, the redistribute and so forth, they will add to this build, but experiment people. Anointments again are down to the user, personally within the footage you can see in the background, the anointments on said weapons are not coming into effect with this build. So here you will add even more to this build getting anointments that work with barrier and so on. And there we have it people, an amazing grenade build which is super efficient within Mayhem 4 within whatever challenges you decide to jump into, raid, slaughter shaft, whatever. So that is that, now I haven't even named this build, I'm just going to call it DPJ's Ultimate Zane Grenade Build, I mean yes I could come up with something better, but it's a grenade build, it's ultimate, it's for Mayhem 4 and it's for Zane. So yes, that's what it is. On that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one. Some cover! Yeah. Go that way! <laughs> <laughs>
Radio! 